All right. Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club Experience episode uh, sixteen. Episode sixteen, dude. Oh, we got a, a special guest here. We got a uh, Bam Margera's back. Yeah, man. He's back <laughs> in the house. Oh, peeking out a little bit. <laughs> got excited. Uh, he's back in the house, dude. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, I. You know, let's talk about this love hate relationship I have with California. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> I've been here for two months now, and I realized that, um, you know, you have to devote like seventy percent of your day to traffic. But besides that, oh yeah, every park that I go to, there's like mega like prime time skaters that i biked down venice <laughs> oh god boulevard i bumped into jason rogers mason silva johnny knoxville <laughs> oh shit um, <laughs> uh raven terche oh yeah and then you know like jesse martina like just on a in one bike, block right bike stroll and then i go to the encinitas park and there's like uh Jeff Grosso was there, wow. David Gonzalez, Luan, Jeez. and uh, I actually, <laughs> we were reminiscing, when I saw David Gonzalez's uh, Thrasher part, I was so hyped on it that um, I told everybody on my Twitter and, and, and all that to, to send a, a dollar or more to David Gonzalez to his actual address. Yeah, so, right. So people were sending him all, like, dollars and all this, which was great, but then people started, like, knocking Knock. on his door and shit. Because I gave his address out. Did he say how much, how much he was getting or any? Like... He, he said he got a couple hundred bucks, but, Whoa. but then when people started like Got knocking on the door all the time, um, so uh, to make up for it, I sent him a, a guitar that ZZ Top sent to me. Whoa! For, yeah, wow. Billy Gibbons gave me a guitar when I hosted the VH1 Rock Honors in in Las Vegas. <laughs> so I gave him that as a uh, sorry for giving you an address out. <laughs> well, we no, have, we have a PO box. You want to get that? Yeah, out? Yeah. 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 yeah, perfect. I was thinking at the time back back when it happened i was sipping on a drink i'm like you know what i have like 200 point something million followers if everybody sends him a buck then he'll have two million bucks <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good yeah. that was my logic at the time it's good logic All right, it's pretty amazing. jeez well welcome dude Thanks. i mean you know to and, yeah man i've, two I've been months. skating my ass off out here i love it um johnny Shilleroff, i've been staying at his house and he's been taking to me where all like the element riders oh. go man Grayson Fletcher. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, he's insane to watch. God, yeah. He's like one of my favorites. Doing one foots with bare feet. Like, <laughs> just <laughs> hanging on. He's the type of dude that just shows up to a park. Like, FDR, you have to, like, figure it out for a while. And mm -hmm. in a week, you might be able to get the lines that the locals know. He'll know it right away. Like, yeah. he'll just drop in and know it. Jeez. Oh, and his style's so rad with his long hair and long beard. <laughs> Although he had to shave his head. Because oh, I, he had lice? I found out that <laughs> Johnny said that he found a piece of lice in one of his dreads, oh. so he had to shave that shit. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Well, you don't want to be carrying that thing, those things around. Shred Dog, though, man. I think uh. he's my top favorite skater at the moment. Really? Sick, yeah. He was just, I was blown away. Yeah. Like, honestly. And, and Tom Shar as well. A kid who was... Who just turned pro? Yeah. Well, the last time I saw him, he was like four feet tall, <laughs> and he was like thirteen, and now he's like sixteen, taller than me, uh, killing it. How do these kids? You know, these kids do twelve nineties these days. <laughs> just keep spinning <laughs> out there. So, I, got, I feel like they're spin so, to win it. They're so small and close to the board that, like, I feel like you have to be thirteen to do it. Yeah. Right. Like you. Bob Burnquist is too tall to be spinning around like that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like if once your gro growth spurt happens, you're doomed with the 1280 yeah. anymore. <laughs> that was probably Tony's problem with the 900 for years, you know? I mean, the bigger ramps definitely helped yeah. get more air time. But, yeah, they were trying that on, like, a 10-foot fucking vert ramp. It ain't going to happen. Yeah, no. flying fetuses, man. <laughs> These fucking kids. And kids at demos, they don't care. They, they, they play the Tony Hawk video game, and then when they go to an actual demo, like, Tony, what the hell? Do the 1280. Like, <laughs> I do it on your video game yeah. all the time. Like, what? You can't just drop in and do the 1280. It's a fucking and, different learning curve, these yeah. kids. Mm -hmm. It's like crazy. Yeah, when Tony Hawk did a demo when I was young, I was like eight years old. Everybody shouted a McTwist on a six, no, a five foot mini ramp. And he did it. And he did it. Yeah. He did it. Yeah. Oh my God. He actually did it, but everybody was like, McTwist, come on. Yeah, twist, 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 twist. twist. Picture being like somebody who, uh, 
you know, has something that well known for, like Nada spinning around on the fire hydrant. Mm-hmm. I've I know that people have done demos. They put a fire hydrant in the middle of a parking lot and they say, "Go right, do the do the thing, do your do, <laughs> yeah. do your move." I want to see you move. Do the move. Yeah, there it is. I, I tried it. It took me two hours and I finally did one. Like, I can't just go and do it. Do kids ask you to do anything when you go places? Do they want you to, Drop besides hands? hitting them in the face? Yeah. What, uh, Actually, what, yeah, it's, it's more like <laughs> kick me in the nuts type shit. But, um, uh, drop-ins, yeah. Dro- oh, yeah. Drop-ins. If there's a drop-in anywhere, then they'll shout to do it, which I would have done it at any time I did a demo. I used to love doing demos because I knew I'd kill it. Now I'm just like, I would never even want to go to a demo. No. It's just too hectic. Like, you're in a no-win situation. If I go to a skate park and, you know, every kid wants to shoot a photo and then talk oh, yeah. to their buddy on the phone, if you do that, you don't break a sweat. And if you say, I'm not going to do that, then you're a dickhead. Right. So, yeah. Luckily, when I show up to these parks around here with the Element team, everybody's skating. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it works out. Oh, did you bring the uh, the owl with you? I wanted to the owl, <laughs> the owl from Jupiter. Jupiter. Yeah, wanted... <laughs> yeah. The Bam, the Florida Bam stalker is now banned from Pennsylvania for life. You know how many comments we got about the the owl from Jupiter on your episode? People loved that shit. I think people want to know more about the owl. And and the funny thing is that like she was serious, like the way she said it. Yeah, <laughs> the owl sent me from Jupiter. Oh my! But God. anyway, um, congratulations to me because. <laughs> I completed my rehab. Hey! Which is yeah. funny because it's literally, Roger, three blocks that way. Yeah. How long were you in there for? About one month. One month? Wow. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I had eyes on in the beginning, which means that I couldn't really go anywhere without a supervisor. But after two weeks, then uh, I had eyes off, which means oh. I had two hours of freedom okay. after the classes from nine till six were over um, nine till six every day every day but Holy sometimes shit. it would end at like four thirty. Uh, but um man i would use those two hours of like that's like precious valuable time there's been times i would sit at home and just sit the fuck around all day and not do a damn thing right when you only have two hours of precious free time like you make the most of it i'm going to skate johnny knoxville's mini ramp tomorrow i'm having mario mccoy pick me up we're going to skate this mini ramp the next day i'm gonna have wee man get me and we're gonna go skate some venice quarter <laughs> oh you got your whole week planned <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, totally i had the whole week planned now now uh you know i've been doing Doing yoga and the gym every morning, sometimes okay. at night. But uh, I'm like super refreshed and ready to go. I just sent my rent payment to Andy Roy in San Francisco. Oh, so um, he's gonna show me some spots. I'm ready to shred. Yeah. <laughs> well, like rehab. What do you do? Like when when you go in there? Like what what's the first things that they they do? Do they take all your phones away? Do they take? Yeah. Like- um. In the beginning, um. Then they became more lenient when I had eyes off. But uh, okay. first day I came in, <laughs> there's some girl who threatened to kill herself that she didn't get the chocolate bar she was promised oh, she man. was uh, a heavy set chick okay. with uh, <laughs> uh she was there for a food eating disorder and uh, she's like you promised me a fucking chocolate bar three, <laughs> yeah. three days ago and now it's the third day and i don't see what i'm gonna kill myself if i don't like they had to like that's crazy they, yeah, yeah. tie her down kind of yeah it's like they <laughs> just put her in a certain room well and, that is suicide <laughs> they, they take that seriously serious, right yeah. i mean yeah. like can't even joke about it almost like a heroin addict like one heroin thinking they're gonna die or withdraw she wanted that chocolate bar do we know what kind of chocolate bar it was maybe a milky way maybe a hundred grand it was just a straight up hershey (laughs) bar (laughs) (laughs) but wait so you can't like you could request food you're just given what you're given i don't understand you can't get a Uh, chocolate bar that was the problem they they her issue was she oh, eats eating. too many Hershey oh, okay. bars, so they said in three days they'll let her have one, and gotcha. it was the third day, and okay. she didn't get it. So, I mean, I could go out and get a chocolate bar, because that's not my issue. Uh, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, so this rehab was everybody. I mean, eating disorders. Yeah. Alcoholism, Alcohol, drugs. And, and just, like, bipolar, you know, like okay. people that don't even have drugs. But it was most, mostly, like, opiate problems ah. and, like, Xanax and all that. Okay. But, um... Yeah, it was cool. cool. I, I got I got through it. I'm done now. And, nice. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I did it, although it was pretty fucking expensive. It was, I bet. Yeah, yeah if you think about are... it, staying there was over a grand a night. Wow. 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 You could, man, 
you could go to like Tahiti with yeah. you yeah. and live it the fuck up big time. Yeah. <laughs> you know? A grand a night. That's an expensive no, chocolate is, bar right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. <laughs> but you're out, you're looking good, dude. You're Thanks. skating good. Everything's good. Yeah, wow. no, elements pumped. Okay. It, it was it was kind of like a blessing in disguise because uh I, I was parked on the side of the road, kinda lost. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out where I am. I look in the rearview mirror and I see like sirens. I'm like, fuck, I'm getting pulled over, but I'm already pulled over. You're already, this I'm is- like, what? <laughs> so I sit there for like 10 long minutes. I'm like, is this guy ever going to come? By the time I looked in the rear view, I realized that there was a car behind me. I had nothing to do with this pullover. Oh. And I stayed there and waited until it was my problem. Wow. What do you mean? He came up. Did he come up to your car or something? Yeah, he's like, "What are you doing here?" I'm like, "I'm waiting for you." <laughs> dude. Oh my god, dude! He's like, "Have you been drinking?" I'm like, "Well, I can't deny that I wasn't because I smelled like a brewery. Oh my I just god. came from the Rainbow Room and it was like a surprise jackass reunion party, okay. so the beers just kept flowing. Wow! And uh, you know, I I used to black out all the time, and um, you know, I stopped that maybe two years ago okay and uh you know i would sip on beers here and there but uh yeah i had like 12 beers in like two hours at that rainbow that'll room. do it that'll, <laughs> but, that'll do you know, it i do like the stories though of people telling me what happened when i was blacked out <laughs> like in australia i was coming out of a bar at 2 a.m and i had like a beanie on with like another like an andy mccoy type hat and i remember this dude was like nice double hat pussy or something like that and i just go <laughs> And I hock her up the biggest no loser way. right into his face. I didn't know he was a UFC fighter. Oh, oh, I didn't know that he would knock me out in one punch. And he did. And and Chad Ginsburg <laughs> from CKY was there. He was like, dude, you were knocked out for seven minutes. And then you got up and you started like everybody was fighting everybody when I woke up. And I'm like. <laughs> All right, so I just start punching you, and you're like, dude, I'm on your team. I'm like, oh, well, then let's fuck that guy up, you know? And, oh so, and then the next day, they're asking me, they're like, so what would you say to that UFC fighter for, you know, doing what he did? I, I'd tell him thank you. I slept very, very well last night. <laughs> I had a great nap. <laughs> but, oh I mean, I, I've been hit over the head with a baseball bat yeah. by a crazy lady, you know? And if you don't know it's coming, it, there is no pain. There's yeah. no, right. You just wake up. <laughs> but, man, there's been stories where it's like, it's you know, I'd be like, Roger, so we had a good time in Westchester last night at Kildare's? Kildare's. Then we went to Ryan's Pub where you pissed all over the window. <laughs> then you went to Iron Hill and beat up some random dude that you thought was, you know, I'm just like, oh, my God. We went and did all the, these other places. I got to calm down. <laughs> no, I, no idea. <laughs> yeah. No idea. So the cop comes up to your window and you weren't even involved he pulled over somebody else and you were in front if i would have looked just like a millimeter more in my rear view i would have saw that there was a car behind me and i could have just went pulled off yeah but you know that's what i'm saying if if i would have got away with that i've got away with so much shit right that like i almost deserve it but if if i would have got away with it then Maybe I wouldn't have gotten any skate tricks done so far since right. I've been here or just continued to my usual ways when I got home. I don't want to go home. No. It's cold out. My mom drove the fucking Bentley out here for me. No way. Yeah. She dude. drove <laughs> from how Philly. Far, how, many, how many hours did that take her? Seriously. Uh, how many days? What was that? Five days, Nikki? Four. Still. Four, four days. days. Your mom by herself and with the Bentley? The whole, the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> and Nikki was in the back with. Oh, the oh, Phoenix, you got, the six weeks old. That's right. Oh, we got yeah, a brand new yeah. human in, in yeah. another room. So I like the fact that my actual car is here because it gives me a reason okay. to stay in California for a little while. Yeah. It, it, there's, I mean, there's just so much to do. Yeah. <laughs> I just hate the traffic. Yeah. It's terrible. Well, at least you got a nice car. Yeah, to, uh, you'll be comfortable. Yeah, you'll be comfortable. Yeah. And track. I like Venice, but everybody's always trying to sell me a fucking mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> so one guy was about to go by, one guy was like, yo, man, you would check out my mixtape? And I'm like, yeah, wh- yeah, whatever. And I just grab. he's like, you said it was free. He's like, yeah, but you got to make a donation. Oh, my like, God. Nah, man, I don't want it. That. Come on, man, $20. Nah, I don't want it. $10. Nah, man, I don't want it. $5. Nah, man, I don't want it. $2. A cigarette. Jesus. <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> so are you going to stay down here for, for a little while? Are you just kind of couch surfing, kind of jumping around from spot to spot? Or? Um, well, when I'm here, I, um, I've been staying with uh, Johnny Schiller from mm-hmm. Element. And 
uh, Seth and Selena, they, they used to be the... Uh, He's the art director. Yeah, for, art director yeah. for Viva La Bam and Jackass. Oh, uh, sick. But once I get up to California, I have two places, in, one in Petaluma where Nikki's mom lives, and okay. then the other one at Andy Roy's house. Wow, so, nice. It should be fun. I, lo- I love SF for all the spots yeah. that Andy shows me. See, you go skating with these top-notch pros these days, they'll take you to a fucking 20 flat 20 where <laughs> I'll be sitting in the middle sunning myself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> taking <laughs> taking uh, Instagram pictures of the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> shredding it up. Right, I right. appreciate the tricks, but I ain't going to touch anything about a 20 flat 20. <laughs> we could all relate to you in this room. Yes. We could all relate to yeah. this for sure. Um, but what, so what would you be your perfect spot if you had a, if if they were like hey if you wanted to go somewhere mini ramp mini uh, ramp or, or just transitions okay. anywhere like that's why I love Spain because the transitions yeah. are usually marble mm-hmm. and and you never get kicked and out. You actually find them in the streets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and you just drive down the road and find yeah. them like yeah. they're everywhere. Right. And then if you want to even go to a skate shop and find out more, then that's that's what I was doing. Okay. Yeah. Well, plus you had Winkle, though. He knows every goddamn spot in Barcelona. Yeah, yeah which, which now I do. We went to every single city, like every single city. Yeah, that's sick. I want to go back with a crew of people. Let's just, go. Yeah. Well, you got a crew right here. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> I want to go to it. China like you were telling me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. When's anybody going to China? I, I don't care what team it is. Well, <laughs> I don't care if it's the Pizza Boys. I don't know them, but I'll be like, you guys are going to China? Well, I'm coming. <laughs> hey, all you, all you need to do is tweet out our P.O. box and a dollar and we're there. Yeah, yeah there, there we go. Yep. We set up a Venmo you know? account or something like that. Oh, yeah, PayPal. Like, yeah. Bro, we got that money in no time. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I got Come a PayPal on. account. You got a PayPal well, account. See? There you go. <laughs> We're trying to get to China. Please send Nine Club one dollar or more. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I can't wait to see how many one dollar bills. Raj will keep them all because he goes and gets some mail. <laughs> <laughs> Won't even tell me about them. Uh, Just got stacks of bills. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> and what is this guy's going to the strip club again? What's going on? <laughs> well, dude, so oh, randomly when he was here last time, we were talking. You were talking about you were on uh, Fear Factor. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> what happened with that, dude? <laughs> well, they asked me if I wanted to do Fear Factor and it was uh, right away the paper they offered me a lot of money and and they said that I could have a guest with me and I'm like, "You know what? Andy Roy would be perfect for wow. this." And um <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's do it. But the first thing it said was, "What are you terrified of? And oh, of, we already know that they that's already a bad know it's question. snakes. Yeah. And I knew that they were going to do that. And then I knew that also like insects and things like that. So I said yes. And of course, the first thing that they have is is uh, it's a glass window oh, no. with a little hole, and then ten straws on Andy's side and ten straws on my side. So you can't use your hands. You have to pick up the straw and put it through the hole as there's I'm not kidding. Eight to ten rattlesnakes a foot away from your face. And then eight to ten rattlesnakes on Andy's side as well. So when you lean in to put the straw through the hole, they're biting your face. But don't Rattle worry. Snakes are poisonous. But don't they? worry, they're devenomized. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> like Wait, that's what? their thing. You know how scary it was just seeing like a rattlesnake <laughs> a foot away from your face, all curled up, ready to attack. Wait a minute, is this fear, the new Fear Factor with Ludacris? Yeah. Or is yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? And uh, yeah, Chris Pontius was there with Mike Kessick and. Um, they were doing it with us. And oh, my See, Mike, God. he was putting it on his lips, the straw, so the straw kept shaking. It took him, like, 11 oh. minutes to get this done. I put it in my teeth and just shoved it right through. Yeah. But, like, I got bit a couple times, and he got bit, like, directly in the face, like, five times, like, to the point where he had to pull it off. Of his <laughs> really? Oh, oh, off. Yeah. Did they give you, like, goggles at all? Yeah. Yeah, we had, we had yeah. like sunglass goggles but that was the tame part (laughs) the gnarly part was uh after that we if you win you advance to the next round right to do even more horrible shit. <laughs> what Go the on fuck do is this? that? That, that makes no what sense. You grew up doing You're horrible the shit. Like, yeah, if, if you win, all right, now what? Well, now you get advanced to the next round, which entails what? Here we go. I had to eat eight... Oh, no. <laughs> eight tarantulas <laughs> with the fur on them and shit. No. I had to chew them all up and spit it into uh, a pint glass. Oh. And, and there couldn't be any, like... 
it had to be the juices of it. So I would chew a tarantula and I couldn't grab it with my hands. Right. I had to do it with my mouth. Chew it up, spit it in, and then Andy would strain it so it was just pure spider juice. And oh then, my God. Then, then Don't I'd tell me eat. you had to drink that shit. It gets worse. Oh. So then 10 rain, oh. dead reindeer eyeballs, I had to chew up and do that too. And then 10... Uh, rotten quail eggs and then which was the worst uh alive green slug worms like they bite you they have like like, i don't know if their claws would bite me but when i was chewing it they were biting my lips and all this yeah and and me and andy had to pick like who's going to be player a or player b Player A has to eat it all up and chew it into the cup, but player B has to drink it all. Oh, oh my God. I would have, and I, now that I did all that, I think I would have rather just watched somebody else chew it, chew, chew, and all this grossness and spit it into a cup because you Andy could. grabbed that shit and just guzzled it oh. in two <laughs> seconds. Like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. Like it was like a milkshake. <laughs> like a chocolate milkshake. Oh and he, grabbed, wow. yeah, he took his teeth out for it and everything. <laughs> Is this is this gonna air recently or did it already air? It, it should be uh, coming out probably anytime this oh month. My God. But it, it, it is definitely entertaining. They asked me like, so is this like up there with jackass and gnarliness? I'm like, it's past jackass and gnarliness. <laughs> I've never eaten a spider, mm-hmm. or let alone ten tarantulas. Do they cook the tarantula or is it like a, it's not a live tarantula, right? The bugs are alive, but the tarantula you um, can't eat it. The, live it, was, it was dead tarantula. Yeah, yeah, okay. But but the worm, the wiggly green worms were it's alive like, fuck all that shit <laughs> yeah dude. seriously i can't do, i can't even do tapatio like <laughs> let alone fucking tapatio. bugs yeah <laughs> it's crazy though like when you you see all these cameras and there's like this whole crew like oh yeah oh i can't pussy out now i'm yeah. like i'm so terrified to eat these spiders though like oh uh, I, I don't know if i could do it again no like, if if they were like we need to do a pickup shot. I <laughs> pickup shot for fear back. Yeah. Stun double. What did the spiders taste like? It had those sharp oh. fur fur on it, like this spiky fur. It was it oh. And then as soon as you ate the back of the tail thing, pus like oh. <laughs> it was so gross. And that that was the pus that I had to get into the cup because that was the only liquid stuff oh that my Andy could drink. God. Yeah. I'm so glad I ate my Subway meatball sub <laughs> before the show. Yeah. Should we ask our callers what the grossest thing they ever eaten was? Oh, God. Yeah, that's a good idea. Fuck. Because, yeah, because Instagram I can't think something of out there. Not that fucking thing. Oh, God. It makes me queasy. You know what I mean? This kind of shit. I can't do that kind of shit. I don't have the stomach for it. Charlie, hey, how are you guys doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> we're, we're great, man. How are you? Yeah, that was quick. Oh, I'm living. Um, it's a little cold out here on the East Coast, but staying moving, keeping the wheels moving. Okay. Well, we got uh, we got uh, um, we got Bam here. Bam sitting in with us. You ate something muffed up and minging? Oh, uh, yeah. So we're eating good out here, Bam. <laughs> so um, I got stuck in Manhattan. And I had 12 hours until my bus to Boston. I was supposed to leave for Boston at 6 p.m., but I had to catch the 6 a.m. because I got into town a little late. But um, I'm stuck in Manhattan for 12 hours, so I'm kind of in survival mode. Didn't have my food budget yet because I was on my way to a skate event. But um, I stopped, and I was like, okay, I really need to figure out what I'm going to eat. And I, like, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go into this hotel and see what I figure out. So I go into this upscale hotel, you know, ripped jeans, skater looking, whole nine yards. Yeah. I walk in and I see this, I see this cart with just this freaking blueberry muffin just gleaming. <laughs> like it was probably like, you know, someone ordered room service and like, cause they're living, they didn't have to eat that. They didn't have to eat that muffin to survive. So I was looking at it like, damn, that looks tasty. <laughs> well, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I was just like <laughs> laughing about the story a little bit, but, um, <laughs> I, I, I take this muffin and immediately someone who's like cleaning up rooms like room service is like hey get out of here kid because I just snatched the I just snatched the muffin off a trash cart like obviously I have no place in an upscale hotel right right <laughs> was it good I get this I get this muffin it's a little stale but it's good and then I filmed a front shove off the Washington Square second block that day from the energy of the blueberry muffin. <laughs> I was expecting like a worm to pop yeah. out of there or something. Yeah. You turned yeah, it over no, and there I was mean, mold. I got, yeah. I got lucky. 
Okay. That thing could have been like hella rank, but um, <laughs> it looked it looks pretty trustworthy. I guess like. Someone just didn't touch it. Like, had it been covered in maple syrup and half eaten, I probably would have been like, ah, I'll starve till I get to Boston. But so far, Bam, you've you've won. Yeah. <laughs> so far, you've won this game. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Kelly, um, Jamir Brown just came out from Philly to the West Coast. I've seen him get all types of crazy footage. Um, how'd you like skating with him? Dude, he's the homie, man. He stayed here at the house. Yeah, he crushes on couch all the time. Yeah, dude, he's out skating every single night. He's a fucking good kid, man. I couldn't wait for him to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Chris loved him, dude. <laughs> no, he's, he's the best, dude. And he he's he got some dude. he got some ill footage out here. He switched front crook the ledge down here by the beach. The yeah, coast. no, I just saw that switch front crook. That thing crazy, dude. I was I saw him in the I saw him in the DGK. I seen him wearing some fresh S's when he came back home. I was like, that's my man. I figured I would shout him out. There you yeah. go. Hell yeah, dude. That's right. Yeah, I gotta go check on my cats and shit. My cat's named Larry too. Oh, Larry. <laughs> oh, is it a boy or a girl? <laughs> That's a boy. Okay, mine's a girl. Hey, have a good night, man. Go take care of your cats. All right. Thanks for calling, yeah, dude. Man, always. All right. Yeah, man. Love y'all. Give right. La- give Larry a pound. All right. I, mean, I you thought know. for sure there was going to be more. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? He ate well. Yeah, he was that a pretty good muffin. Good. And, he got, and he got a good clip. Yeah. It sounded good to me. I yeah. feel like I'm determined to find a caller that ate something fucking gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> when times are tough. When times or, are tough. Or, or just a bet from a buddy. Go into an upscale hotel and eat a blueberry muffin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you got, uh, like we were talking about, the, your, your brand new human being. Yep, that's in the. I saw it. It's like he's in the it's, other it's, room. It, my cat Larry's bigger than this baby. It's this. It's this. It's tiny. Yeah. I'm ready to just put bubble wrap all around him and send him down a vert ramp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be the next 1280. The Jeez. next little baby fat suit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I'm, I'm ready. Like six weeks. Like that's not. That's. When can he start walking and talking and skating? <laughs> Do you think it'll be a skate the dad? the hard part. It'll probably motivate me to go skate more. Yeah? I always find reasons to, like, not go to the skate parks. If I'm going there to... It's fun now. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I just was in Hollywood, went by that, that thing you dropped in on. Oh, uh, Ivar? You, have you been there since, like, you did that? I haven't looked at it lately. Dude... It's it's pretty high. Isn't it's it? pretty gnarly, yeah. dude. Well, that's yeah. the one that's actually, like a slant in the middle. It's of like the... a tile. Yeah, it's like yeah. a blue tile. That's insane, dude. I don't. There's a lot of death factor in that. <laughs> that's like to me. That's crazier than doing the fucking it's, what the show you were just on. It's yeah. right by Amoeba too. I figure I'd go look at it more often. It's directly across the street. I remember when you called me to come meet you there. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Did you know what he was talking about already? I, I think I remember passing it a couple times, but like, I never stopped to look at it. I slammed so hard on that too, and I, and I, I should have used it on like the videos or whatever, mm-hmm. but I, I just showed the make. Yeah. Oh my the God. slam was like right to my face, like, boom, yeah. <laughs> you know? It was a full one opener. Where was the one that you had? It was like on a sculpture, and you would try to, you like, you try to step off the board and you fell back and hit your face on the board or oh, something. It was, it was like a cube or something yeah. like that. It's like in, um, oh, Colorado. that was, was in, in Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. Element. Uh, uh, that yeah, was the audio tour. Audio tour, yeah. yeah. You came so close to doing that one too, but you, there were people showed up it looked like and you got to... Like, I get all superstitious too because uh, like that day I stole a <laughs> How to Speak Finish tape for $40. <laughs> and I just... And, and, I, and I knew <laughs> once I was up there and that happened, I was like... I'm not going to land this. I'm going to eat shit, twist an ankle or something. I think because... you even said it in the video too, didn't you? Yeah, I yeah. did. <laughs> because I never steal. And anytime I, I do, or or like, for instance, I had a BB gun. And I'm shooting stuff like, oh, a can. Pff, yeah, got it. Uh, and then this little bird comes oh, up no. and lands right there. And I'm like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh, Dead no. as can be right away. Phone rings two minutes later. I get up, run for the phone. Clip the curb, twist my ankle. I had a contest the next day that I couldn't go to wow. because I twisted my ankle. And I'm like, it's the karma from the fucking See? bird. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I, f- I felt that that was the karma from stealing the tape. Why are you stealing a $40 finish tape? I figured 40 was too much to learn how to speak finish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and back shit. then, you know, I, I don't know. 
you know, times times were tough back then when <laughs> I was like making millions. <laughs> no, but like in the beginning, like when I first got sponsored by Nike and like Remy Stratton said that they're mailing me five grand. That was like that was like hitting the fucking lot. Like mm-hmm. I needed that money bad. Yeah. Like I was broke as a joke. I was fucking stealing those little chocolate things at Wawa with the cherries in them that are right up front. I didn't even want them, but it was just so easy to take, take. it. <laughs> it was either that or gum. Kelly steals all the time down the local uh, yeah. Chevron. <laughs> down the local Chevron. <laughs> all the, what would I steal? I don't, I don't you really... steal ladies' hearts. That's what you, oh, that's what you steal. Oh, God. At Chevron. Yeah. At Chevron. We need to separate these two. Yeah. <laughs> fucking stepbrothers. That's a compliment, uh, actually. <laughs> what else should we touch on? Anything else we got? We Oh, what about the news? Should we do anything? To... Should we talk about what's There's going on stuff. in skateboarding right now? Well, I mean... We got a couple things, right? Uh, one of BAM's uh, team members turned pro for Element. That's right. Yeah, Tom Char. Char. Yeah. 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 Other than that, like, there was a Mark Suchu oh, yeah. edit. Mark Suchu had the part for Adidas. He had mm-hmm. a new shoe come out. Uh, did you see that BAM at all by chance? Uh, the uh, commercial? It was a like commercial. Yeah, it was like a little video part. It was like a three and a half minute But like his part. footage yeah. was kind of dispersed through the internet, you know? But like he did the Carl Watson, the front side nose slide, slappy, the oh, the pretzel, fakey five oh, yeah. the fakey five oh, oh, reverb. Yeah. And the fucked up thing is like that was in the credits of that yeah, edit. Yeah, it was like the end. It was the last trick after the credits. Yeah. Now, okay. is Instagram going to ruin, like, video parts? It already has. <laughs> it already has, yeah. Because, That's, like, yeah. I turn on my phone and I see all these hammers going down all day long. I'm like, that dude didn't even save that for the closing of his part. He well, just, this is what I did today. But the fucking yeah. thing is people put out the, their part and then everyone posts, like, the last trick and all their bangers. I mean, you got to drive the traffic there somehow because you, like, you can't see it. Tom, that's his trick for your, your S commercial. Yeah. No, it was great. No, but that people got to see it. And oh, totally. they to go see the edit. Like, we dropped the S uh, edit today where Tom Asta fucking killed it. Dude skated here for, like, five, five days. Yeah. Did, like, tricks that I've never seen before. Fucking throw it up on Instagram. People check out the video. It's cool. No but it is cr- nose grind back somewhere out. Yeah, revert in the middle. It's like, I don't know, man. It's crazy. <laughs> but will you forget it? Like, we won't forget Bam's drop in because it's like solidified in like this right. thing. Well, that was like, a special time in skateboarding as well. Right, right, right. You right, know right. what I mean? Skateboarding is very glorified back then. It still is, but that was like all the stuff you did back then. People were like, everyone's eyes were on it. Yeah. yeah. Some kind of now it's kind of like where the fuck do you look dude back then we had 411 and if you had some uh, opener in it then you're the fucking man oh yeah <laughs> now you could be like an interweb sensation you could like, like you're a youtube skate like yeah it's a different game youtube superstar well what i trip on too is like sometimes on on instagram you know somebody will get like a hundred thousand views if you got a hundred thousand views on youtube that would you'd make like two hundred dollars yeah. <laughs> yeah you know what i mean like yeah. mm-hmm Totally. Instagram, you don't get shit. Yeah. We got Oliver from Newport Beach. Oliver? What up? What up? <laughs> Please tell me you ate something better than a blueberry muffin off of a hotel cart. No, nah, way better. Um, Live octopus. Live, live octopus. octopus. Wiggling down your throat? Yeah, you feel those little, like, suction cups. And it's really weird. Yeah, it's pretty the gnarly. They're pretty weird, you know? What, were yeah. you in Japan? Or were you just on the, you nah, found one on the ocean? Like Koreatown. Oh, in Koreatown. Koreatown. Don't think, doesn't it get yeah. stuck in your throat and yeah, stuff? It sounds tentacles. like it's still stuck there. Yeah. <laughs> Not the best feeling ever. Well, how did you, did you, uh, how many tentacles did you eat? Chris, I'm not going to lie. I ate more than one. All right. All right. A little soy <laughs> sauce, a little uh, ponzu sauce. Yeah, what do you put on that thing? Put sesame seed oil on that. And have oh, you ever that heard sesame that? Sesame seed oil is uh, really um, fucking good. Um, chili paste called gokijang. Gokijang? Gochujang. It's like this Korean red chili paste. It's bomb. So okay. Dead. Okay. So yeah. you recommend the octopus? Hell yeah, Chris. <laughs> that's to you. Okay. Anything else you got? Hey, thanks for taking my call. I know Johnny Shilreff. Oh, yeah. All oh, right on. How do you know Johnny? I know his son, Camp, and Len- uh, and his daughter, um, Yeah, Lennox. Camp and Lennox. Right on. Oh, do they skate? Yeah. yeah oh, they do. Yeah. Camp does, Camp yeah. does? Sick. He rides the loosest trucks, but oh, he really? still kills it with him. It's crazy. It's rad. Like day one loose. Yeah. Like yeah, fucking... Like, maybe even worse. Well, how old is he? <laughs> Twelve. I got a quick question. Go ahead. <laughs> you guys hear about um, Chris Chan quitting YouTube? Quitting YouTube? Yeah. He, he posted a video... Uh, of him quitting YouTube. I don't know oh, if it's low. serious, but... 
quitting yeah. YouTube. I just saw him the other day at Stoner filming. Really? So Chris Chan quit YouTube. This is big news. That's huge. This is huge news, <laughs> fam. This is crazy, dude. No, but see, how do you, you yeah. just quit YouTube? <laughs> see, Bam doesn't even know who he is. <laughs> I don't know who he is either. Who's but Chris he, Chan? He's a YouTuber. He's but actually he, really good at he's, skating. He's yeah. fucking phenomenal. He's really he's phenomenal. He's on, um, I think he's on Element Flow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's on Element Flow. You should know this, Bam. I don't know what you're doing. I just got out of rehab. I don't know who this kid is. <laughs> 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 well, you know what? I'll, we'll, look in, we'll look into this. We'll get to the bottom of Chris Chan quitting YouTube. Would you be devastated if he quit YouTube? Yeah, Detective Zero on the case. Yeah, we're, we'll get to the bottom of this, man. By the next Experience episode, I'll have an answer for you. All right, thanks, Chris. All See right. you, everyone. Later, All right, later, later, dude. You, like, have to be high to, like, call the show, right? <laughs> yeah, I, bet, I guess, yeah. At least he ate something gross. I don't think you're going to lose at this one. I, I, like, <laughs> you won. Yeah, there's... <laughs> we need at least one good one. What else is going on in the news, Kelly? Anything else uh, we should know about? Well... Uh, recently, they have the two up at the barracks. Oh yeah, manuals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chris knows about manuals. I know a couple things about manuals. Yeah, Chris yeah. Haslam came up victorious. Yeah, Chris yeah, Haslam. Won. Yeah, but again, he, I know, right? But dude, he's creative as shit. Who was he up against? Uh, there was a few younger kids. A bunch uh, of good ones. Dude, Will Fyock did some f- gnarly, amazing, like actually like tech manuals. They all did. But Seva. Seva. Um. John so DiLorenzo. Sebo. Sebo. When was this? Why couldn't I be a spectator? <laughs> <laughs> on the barracks. They probably film for fucking ever. No, Chase, Chase was I here. It's like manuals. years. Chase was uh, here last night and he was just like talking about stuff and he's like, dude, what is he saying? He's like, each trick took like two days or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. That's that. psycho. Yeah. It was like, yeah. And I don't know. Well, that's... Chris has some shit. Like, it's. It took like days to figure out how to move the shit. Yeah, yeah. He's probably thinking about how do I make this into a dick. Yeah. Did you see that one? He made he made a fucking dick and then fucking. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> oh, real quick, we got we got to take this. This is our our first international caller. We got a uh, we got a uh, uh, Bo from Melbourne, Australia. All right. What's up, Bo? Hey guys. Good day, mate. How you going? <laughs> <laughs> not bad, mate. Not bad, Foster. Let me ask you a question, Bo. Does it does it does it get on your nerves when people Americans do the Australian accent or try to at least? No, I think it's great. All what, right, what mate. about the fake guy at Outback Steakhouse? <laughs> <laughs> He's not a real Australian. Uh, that's the worst. We what have that too. What do you got for us, Ben? Um, I wanted to ask Ben, what's your like go-to on the mini rat these days? Because you're kind of like a mini rat dude. Go, go to things, skate tricks like dude with the like weird tricks and it's sick yeah I'm starting to feel like I'm like a 10 trick pony I got the tray flip to nose <laughs> I got the kick flip pivots I got the you know blunts and nose blunts mm. 180 you know all that stuff the chink chink 360s and then from there, I'm too fucking winded and out of breath because of my old age and smoking fucking cigarette <laughs> habit that I need to stop because it, when once I do my 10 tricks, I'm done. The right tricks you want to learn? I'm like, <gasps> yeah, tons. Like, What's your dream? To, like, what would be the trick? I really liked when PJ Ladd did that hard flip to pivot to fakie. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was sick looking, but... You know, if it's if I'm gonna be sitting there for more than an hour trying it, then I'm just gonna be too out of breath and too old. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you did a hard flip? On banks. Yeah. Yeah. But um, not never on like a transition bank. Just it's always got to be flat. Yeah. There you go, Bo. What's your go-to trick on the mini? Oh, uh, it's got to be like the, I don't know, overcrooked kind of pivot, and then like in straight off the front truck. I don't know what you really call it. When do you call it? I don't even know. Sometimes I nolly into it. Like Wait, grinding or just stalling. No, it's just like a stall, I guess. Okay. Like yeah. back nose grind. Like, what is it? Back nose pick? Is that what it's called? Much, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess. Oh, no, but don't you grab on a kick? You're asking the wrong dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for taking my call. Thanks. I was listening to the show today. I listen to it every day. Oh, every week, yeah. sorry. Thanks for calling. Have a, good, uh, have a good day. Have a good day, right? It's day over there, right? Yeah. It's reversed, right? It's, it's about time we have an international call. That's Listen, cool. man, that probably cost him fucking 40 bucks. <laughs> probably. <laughs> no. Seriously. Yeah. So, go. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kelly. What else were we talking about for the uh, Australian? Who do you think is going to take Tampa? 
I would love to Jagger. see Jagger. That dude's he's not pro already. yet. Didn't was... Jagger win uh, simple session? He still am though, right? I don't know. He's so good he could easily skate in that. Bam, thing. Yeah. who do you got? Yeah. If you had to put your money down. I don't know. I just saw Nigel killing it. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I want to see somebody who who like <clears throat> Like pool shredding skate, you know, like yeah. Smith grinding the fuck, like Raven Terche. Oh yeah, you know, like right. Who's just gonna Smith grind the fuck out of shit? <laughs> Did you see his back, Smith in Venice? I, the Venice, I loved thing? it. I loved it. It was so fucking good. So I had to watch Ill. it twenty times on my Instagram. <laughs> I think I watched it forty times. Yeah, I just sat there like, no, so good. It yeah. was like the whole thing. Yeah. What ha- what happened to DVS? Did something happen to DVS? I heard they uh, dropped like all their skate team. That's crazy. Or all the athletes, actually. It, like BMX, oh, yeah, they, surfing, uh, yeah. skateboarding. They just chopped everything. What, are they done? They have no athletes. They don't endorse any athletes anymore. Oh. The, they're so pulling they're still making their, shoes. I guess they're still in business, but there's... They're pulling an audio. That audio thing. really sold some shoes after they didn't have any riders. <laughs> <laughs> That's a right. tough one, man. Like... DVS used to be so big, and it was like you knew the owners, you knew the writers. Yeah, like, sick now good. you like don't even know who owns it. Yeah. There's no writers anymore. Right, You're just yeah. kind of, it's kind of sad. But it's gonna be funny seeing Chico not wearing DVSs. I know. Yeah, he, he skated did. with him the other day. Uh, and Adidas. Really weird. Carl laced him up. Yeah, for sure. That's pretty sick. But uh, and then other news, I saw Sebo wearing, wearing Adidas too. Yeah. Well, in other news, we got Kevin from Rialto. He ate some crickets. Hey, how's it going, guys? You eating Kevin. crickets? <laughs> Yeah, I ate some crickets one time. On a, I was just really curious. I was at a store with my sister out in Santa Barbara. Okay. And she just dared me to eat the crickets. And oh, they were selling them I at the was, store. She put some Old Bay seasoning on them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I kind of just ate them straight. They were dried out a little bit, like like cricket jerky or something. Yeah, kind of like that. It's like eating yeah, peanuts. Yeah, kind of like tr- uh, cricket jerky. Was it good? Would you eat it? Would you eat crickets again? <laughs> it's good yeah, protein, probably would. Right? Yeah, cr- they have bad. a lot of protein, apparently. Yeah. Hey, uh, Kevin, thank you, bro. Yeah. Uh, we love your cricket story. <laughs> thank you guys so much. I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for calling. Uh, no problem. And then can I give a shout out real quick? Yeah, of course. Um, I just want to give a shout out to my brother. He's going to have his first kid uh, this week. He's going to have a baby boy. There you go. Nice. What, are you going to name him uh, Crop or what do, what do we got? Larry? Um, if, if this makes it on the line, he'll probably call him Crab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's a, uh, what's the last name? Uh, it's Ali Saya, like Ali, like Muhammad Ali. Crab Ali Saya. Dude, that's a great name. Sounds nice. <laughs> Flows up the tongue. Flows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Listen, if he names him Crab, I'll send you a nice, I'll send you a nice LaCrab deck for the wall. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, Kevin. Thanks so, so much, bro. All right, thank you guys so much. I'm a big fan. Do you guys take care? Thank you. Thank you. Another news. Go ahead. Flo Mertain. Is that how you say his last name? Sounds right. Flo Mertain? Yeah. yeah. He just wanted, he, it was pretty rad. He actually turned pro for Habitat, which is pretty rad, a little video part. He but wasn't pro yet? I didn't even know he, no, was, he was on, on Habitat. He, he was on How long has he been on Habitat? Cliche. Wait, uh, is yeah, this Flo right? Marfang or Flo Martain? Uh, Martain. Uh, Martain. Another one. Okay. Very similar names, but they yeah. both really good. But he did something that I was pretty impressed by. He did a heel flip body varial to fake Emmanuel. Oh, like yeah. a, a, a tall, tall ledge, dude. Yeah. And I'm not, I don't really do that trick too often, but he did it really fucking good. I love creative shit like that. It's, yeah. It, it looked phenomenal. It looked great. It looked so good. Yeah. Yeah. Bam, we got to get you out on those manuals, bro. I'm so bad at the balance of a manual. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I, you know? Maybe if I drop a couple more pounds, then I'll balance better. But <laughs> fucking hell, I, I've never been good at it. I, I mean, I can manual, but doing it even backwards is pain in the ass. Nose <laughs> manuals, I suck shit at. <laughs> suck shit. <laughs> like, so bad. <laughs> Have you ever filmed one before? Like, any video parts? I'm trying to think. When you Barely. Were, like, high speed over the pyramid at fucking FDR. Uh, <laughs> did you see what Danny Wages posted on his, on his Instagram? <laughs> he did a switch kick flip to switch manual, mm-hmm. but this dude... His his Instagram is at Wacky Wacky Ball. Ball. He said he scraped his tail. It pissed. I was at Danny Way's house. He was so pissed off about it <laughs> that he's blocking all of his shit. He's like, "Fuck <laughs> this guy." Then he then he told me to post him doing a tray flip down 
off the top of Bob's rip yep. just to change the subject of that. <laughs> oh, my so, God. That's why I had that Danny Way clip yeah. on my, my Instagram. I've never heard of this guy before. I don't know who he is. <laughs> but that tray flip down the thing was insane. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I, think his, I think his wheel hit the coping on the way in. Yeah, yeah. something. Yeah. But he, like, power slid down the whole ramp, yeah. which is even gnarlier. Yeah. Crazy, dude. Yeah. That's like amazing though. He, yeah. Who else is gonna put up bangers like that on Instagram? Yeah, nobody. Just face melters. Just switch flip manual. Chris, you got some competition in the switch flip manual, bro. Listen, I got tagged in that fucking so many, <laughs> so many fucking times. You know, any switch flip manual bam that goes down and out there in the wild, <laughs> my Instagram fucking blows up. I got to turn off notifications and everything. It's crazy. Now, if, Wait, you, if, if you would have just tapped your tail on that switch flip there would you not have shown it like 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 right now like just a little i would have i probably would have redone it yeah i mean back then well plus i did it three times that day so <laughs> yeah. we picked the best one i can't believe that guy got to danny way that hard he was like walking around like pacing like fuck this motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> fucking ruining my clip that'd be actually <laughs> crazy what if those two like met each other it looks like, like the guy <laughs> don't even skate Oh, he rips. He, he can do some shit. Really? Yeah. He's good. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he is? He's good, yeah. He called me out, right, for scraping on some of man. I loved it, by the way. I <laughs> fucking love it. I love it. The me and Danny Way were opposites. I fucking loved it. But, you know, you got to film a response video, and this was my response. <laughs> 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 totally scraping the whole leg. <laughs> Looks rad. That was amazing. I dig it. Right? Yeah. Well, where, where, where were we? Were we talking about some news? Are we going to take a call? Or what, what are we doing? Take some news? Mm -hmm. Well, let's take this this call from... Uh, oh, gosh. I, I think it's uh, Alex from Temecula again. What's up? <laughs> oh, my God. How do you get through every time, Fucking Alex? Fucking shit. You know what? I honestly don't fucking know. I'm 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 just as surprised as you are. Okay. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I fucking do it. I just do. Okay. Well, listen. We got uh we got Bam here, and uh, of course LD and Kelly and Raj and myself. What do you uh what do you got for us? What's up, everyone? What up? Well, uh, I actually had a well. I thought it was a pretty funny story about eating something bad. I don't know if you guys would like to hear it. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to. My mom decided to cook, like, this, like, meat crab patty type thing. It's, like, made out of crab or fish or whatever. Okay. And uh, it was one of the most disgusting fucking things I've ever ate in my life. And, like, I'm the type of person, like, if I take a bite and I don't like it, I will not eat it. And, like, I even said it to, like, my in front of my mom's face, like, I'm not going to eat this. This is disgusting. The funny part about it is that my dad and my brother... They, they, like, three or four of them just totally kissing ass to my mom, saying that it was delicious and everything. Mm -hmm. And I was just there sitting like, nope, this is fucking disgusting. I'm not eating it. I was the only one to tell my mom that it was disgusting. The funny part about it, this next day, literally everyone agreed that they're fucking disgusting, even my mom. And what, nobody got sick or anything? There was no... Uh, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I only took a bite, so I don't know if my fucking dad or mom or whatever got diarrhea or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. That, 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 the, the diarrhea that topic didn't come up. I, at the I, net, uh... I, I don't know. Like I said, I only took a bite of it, and I was like, I'm not eating this. I'm not risking it. Bam, you're still winning. <laughs> <laughs> By a mile. By a landslide. You don't know. You don't know, Alex. I mean, your your little crab cake story is is what a, Bam ate tarantulas and fucking worms that exploded in his mouth. mouth. Dead reindeer eyes. I actually have a question for Bam. Oh, also, go ahead. So uh, I, I was wondering if you have any more like crazy personal stories that like no one would like kind of know about. Kind of like how that like lady in the tree was like living in there. Oh, that. You know, like how kind of no one knew about that. I barfed on Tony Hawk on a flight. <laughs> <laughs> what what is the what happened how in the hell we had a flight from uh serbia to bangkok thailand and um it was all the gumball people on the flight so like ryan dunn got naked and, and he jumped up on the top cabin where you put your luggage okay and, like shut it up there everybody was getting wasted and i drank way too much and i was sitting next to tony hawk and i fell asleep like on his shoulder, like 
totally he's like sleeping and snoring woke up to me throwing up all over oh, him wow. no yeah and then, <laughs> then he like put me in the bathroom and then i fell asleep in there and and i <laughs> It was locked, so they had to keep pounding on the door until I got out of there. But yeah, I barfed on Tony Hawk. <laughs> See, Alex, those are the type of stories you need to call in with. <laughs> well, hey, thanks, Alex. Actually, for- wait, 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 one, one second. So I, I heard Kelly mention this earlier about SIBO, because I know you left Lakai. Yeah. So I was kind of wondering, like, what what you guys think he's going to go to. I think he's repping Adidas right now. Adidas? I don't, I don't know. There's not a lot of options out there, dude. Yeah. There's really, there's only like... <laughs> well, listen, if he quit, which it sounds like he quit, mm-hmm. right? What you got to have something going on, right? It's all lined up. you got to have to have something, right? I mean, you don't just quit. A, Adidas would be a good fit for him. Plus, like... You think? Yeah, they support, like, artists, too. So he's got his whole I would actually like to see him on Converse. On. I think that would be a good fit. I don't. For some reason, I could see him on Adidas already before yeah. he was off Lakai. Yeah. So, he looks good in him. Everybody know. looks good in him. They're fucking three stripes. Yeah. They look. <laughs> they're great looking shoes. Chris is wearing them right now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> trying to get on before Sebo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, Alex, man, thanks for calling in, man. We appreciate it. All right, let, let's get that crop three stripe pro model shoe hey, out there. Hey, go <laughs> fucking DM him. <laughs> all right i'll try i don't know if they'll ever see my message but i'll try you just never keep, know. keep like, trying yeah dude. just keep Nine trying <laughs> alex i know you have it in you because you call this show every night so just keep keep dming us. <laughs> hell yeah all right Take alex it easy everyone ha- good night have a good night bye bye peace there you go man one of our repeat callers is alex <laughs> rodriguez man from temecula um, All right, let's. Oh, good. You have something else? Well, the, you know, we had a big birthday last week. The, ooh, Jim someone, Thibault. Jim Thibo had a birthday. Do we know how old he is? Anybody? How old do you think he is, Chris? I think he's do you know? about. Do you I, know? I have no idea. I'm going to say 53. 53. I was going to say 51. Okay. I was going to say 52 ish. I'll go 49. Kelly, you're trying to score some points. Yeah. With, with Jim. <laughs> Do we know? Do we have something we, f- we could ask Alexa or uh, should I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, get Alexa? Or should we ask Siri? Uh, Siri don't know shit. Yeah, but we had a little t shirt sent to us, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. I asked him for a box. Oh, I, I saw again. the I saw your post, yeah. Yeah. And then I uh, wish him happy birthday after <laughs> asked for a Spitfire box. Weren't you just up there recently in San Francisco? Yeah, yeah. You see Jim up there? Yep. Yeah? Yeah, he hooked me up with a big Spitfire box. And mm. uh, I'm going to be up there in about two days. So Sick. get some more shit, go shredding. So you're going you're gonna to go stay, stay with Andy Roy? Yeah. What is that going to be like? It's fun. Do we? Yeah. I mean, what? How does this guy live? Do he, we know how? I mean, have you been up there before? He, he actually like when he's at home, he's pretty mellow. Like he does like crossword puzzles in the back of like Us <laughs> Weekly magazine. No, he stuff. does really. Yeah, yeah, he does. And um, oh, yeah, his chick Priya lives there. And, okay. Um, he smokes a shit ton of weed. Gotcha. But like, he's sponsored by like a weed company now. I think. I think he inhales more weed smoke than actual air. <laughs> 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 but yeah, his agenda is just if it's not smoking weed, then it's skating. That's it. So that's like right up my alley. Perfect. I don't do well with weed. No. <clears throat> so you're gonna go to like Potrero probably and all the yeah, all the yeah. parks up there and yeah. uh, like. Bob's in Oakland mm-hmm. DIY oh, yeah. spot. Oh, sick! Yeah, Fuck. yeah. Double Rock. You ever oh, seen yeah? the Thrasher Park? Oh no, I haven't. It's pretty fun, man. Yeah, it's yeah. probably hell off on there. Yeah. How long are you gonna go for? Over a month or two. Over a month yeah. at Andy Roy's house. Yeah, I mean, I got the Bentley, and, and, and <laughs> that's okay. And, but uh, if you know, Nikki lives in Petaluma, so okay. we can always oh, do that. Oh, well. got you. Okay. Yeah. How so far I'll is Petaluma from? Forty minutes. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. Oh, anything else, Kelly? Do we have a... Uh... Uh, well, Dan Van Linder... Lind... Why do you say his name, dude? Don. 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't... Dude, he's like the best skateboarder in the world. I can't even say his name. But... He's sick. He went from... It's funny. I always trip out on this, but like... Go from Vans to Nike. Uh, Should I follow him on... I, I, who do Skanky? I need to follow Skanky. on Skanky. Skanky. I thought that was his name. Yeah. But oh, you, you'd love this kid. Yeah. He's incredible, yeah. dude. It, yeah. It's like, it's yeah, he's fucked amazing. up. Well, yeah, but people go for uh, Alex Olsen went from Vans to Nike. Yeah. No, but you it's know? funny because those are two really big, like. Right. I mean, I guess Nike has way more people on their squad, but 
I always trip out why you would leave Vans mm-hmm. for Nike when there's always already like 500 people on Nike. Yeah. I don't know. I was watching uh, the Black Label Crummy video promo, whatever, uh, yesterday, and I realized that Sean Martin skates a lot like, well, he skates a lot like Sean Martin. From back in the day. Nobody here knows what yeah. you're talking about, Raj. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. We got Derek from Fontana on the line. Are you there, Derek? Yes, sir. How's it going, guys? Hey, it's going good, man. How you doing? Doing well. It's a little late, but uh, you know what? It's going well. Yeah, sorry we had you on hold, man. We're trying to we're trying to get through this show. No worries. I love the show, man. I I love what you guys are doing. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. Um, Thanks. yeah, I love all the love conversation and uh a jib jab, it's awesome. Okay. <laughs> uh, what do you What do you got for us tonight? Yeah, I had a question for Bam. Um, I know he's a dad now. Is that right? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I was wondering uh, if uh, now that you're going to be a dad, what sitcom dad do you think you're going to be most like, and why? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> sitcom dad. A sitcom uh, dad. Oh no, I don't know. Al Bundy. You know, Al- I was just talking to Roger though about it. If if I haven't changed the diaper yet. And I don't plan on it anytime soon, but <laughs> if it happens in the next 10 minutes, then I'll do it live on air. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> there you go. What else? Uh, I, th- I see you got a couple questions here. What, what, what else is, what else you got? I wanted to know another one for Bam is, is what's a dream trick that you always wanted to learn, but you never got the chance to learn it. Um, I guess I'd say switch tray flips. I mean, I, I've done them on flat before, but never like a proper one in a line or anything, you know, it's just me trying it on flat and then I finally get it and it's not worth like any kind of putting it on film unless it's Instagram or something. <laughs> but yeah, just, a, just a proper switch tray flip somewhere, even on a bank. You ever tried on the bank in Barcelona? The I want to go back should, and try. Yeah, that's yeah. the first thing that popped in my head. Yeah, I'm down for another Spain trip for Ooh. sure. Actually, that, that's right into my last question. Okay. Um, my last question was, what's the gnarliest thing that you've ever done on a skate trip um, and that doesn't involve skateboarding? I know you're pretty gnarly. <laughs> oh, I, you know, um, it was actually in Puerto Rico. We were on an audio trip, and um, Tony Hawk was doing a demo on a vert ramp and i was standing on the top and all these kids kept chanting jump into the tree jump into the tree and uh i stood on top of the rail and jumped into the tree and i didn't know that there was like spiked handrails all around the tree and i just dodged it like by a millisecond like like so close to just right to the back and i and i got out of that yeah and it's actually the first thing on my one step beyond video part they show it really quick jumping into the tree yeah from like a 16 mil above how do you not angle. see the spikes? I mean, was it not? Uh, it was just heat of the moment. Everybody's like, jump, <laughs> jump, jump. And I was just like, all right, CKY. <laughs> <laughs> or when I jumped off that uh, eight-story thing um, into the pool. That was pretty scary. Shit, that was <laughs> fucked. But just think people would dive off that. Where? Oh. Where? where? You talking about the diving board? Oh, no. Oh, when I ollied off that Olympic swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. That, that that was pretty scary, too. But what, no. Which one are you talking about? I, I stood off the balcony of the A story and jumped off the balcony. Oh, and, into the pool. Into like an yeah. eight foot oh, pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hit my ass so hard. Going back to the uh, ollieing off the diving board. Yeah. Because you held on to the ollie. Yeah. For a while. Yeah. Because if you landed on, on the, board, the board. Yeah. Did you ever think about when you were. I I feel like just instinct at the very end, you just kick slightly it away. kick it away. Okay. I, I don't think you could just land on it. No, and no, you no. Would you you like, would break your legs. Right. For sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. That would be fucked. I didn't even think of that, dude. Yeah. Oh, my. That's the first thing I thought of <laughs> yeah. when I saw it. That'd be a horrible video to watch. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Hey, but uh, thanks for calling in, man. We appreciate that. We're going to try to wrap this up. No worries. Appreciate you guys taking the call, taking the time to, to talk to me. Of course. Oh. Of course. Well... Man, we got through another show, dude. Bam, anything else you want to touch on or talk about while we while we got you here? I guess I just want to say that uh, Element's coming out with a new Bam collection called Dark Forest pretty soon. Oh. So, um, yeah. Is it like a reissue of graphics or brand new? Um, brand new stuff with this guy, um, Kevin, who's actually Kat Von D's favorite artist. All right. so, oh, sick. Uh, yeah, it's it's got that cool, like, goth-type dark 
feel oh. to it. You know, Element loves trees. So these are going to be like dead, spooky trees. Okay, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. And how do you how do you guys hook up with an artist like that? Do, do you know him and ho- call them, or just I actually else? was uh, doing a Rolling Stone interview just a week ago, and oh. um, it happened to be at this dude's house. So I was like, Oh my god, I know you. You're Cat Von D's friend. Really? Like, yeah. So then we started chit chatting, and and uh, I said it would be rad if he did a board graphic for element he was like i'd be more than happy to so then oh. that turned into doing a whole bunch of graphics for the the bam line so dope right. so look for that coming soon you also have like your own jewelry line right is that oh yeah there's bam merch we do that in estonia um oh in estonia yeah uh oh. my buddy has like a 3d printer so okay if anybody wants silver or gold or you know whatever yeah he could do it up there from estonia yeah that's crazy they ship worldwide yep um well dude bam i'm looking forward to uh your new video part that you're going to come out with right you're gonna you're gonna uh, well, i'm gonna <laughs> go try to get some more <laughs> tricks in spain and maybe some sf tricks too yeah See. maybe me and andy will do a little fun part have you been filming while you're down here though or just instagram um, stuff and yeah just just, just instagram just fun things. stuff yeah. although i did get a trick at the vista park oh which is another you know it's good but it's another kickflip pivot again and then a tray flip <laughs> nose but it was on something way higher than i usually do say? so you know Let's at say, least i'm dude. stepping it up a notch but fuck yeah. i need to you know get out of this habit of my bag of 10 tricks learn something new <laughs> it's it's tough sometimes because you just want to go with your shit that you can do what's going on with you and andy weren't you trying to pitch a show well Viceland was was interested, and MTV they're they're just playing like Wayans Brothers and shit. So, I, what the fuck are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> MTV's got great shows. They've got like you know Teen Pregnancy. Yeah, they have <laughs> Teen Mom, like, Saved cat, by the Bell, they have Catfish. Yeah. They have all kinds of great sh- programs. That Catfish show is nuts. Okay, yeah. you know what? It's Maybe pretty... for the first couple episodes, yeah, yeah, yeah. but after like three or four, you're like, oh, God, the same. These people are fucking idiots. Yeah. If they can't figure out that that's a fake person on the other line, you're yeah. a fucking moron. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's pretty crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, just, yeah, of course. Just dive into their little profile. It's fucking easy, man. Right? You know? Yeah. <laughs> How do you He's... really feel about this, Chris? This person, <laughs> this person has two friends <laughs> and they're hot. You ever catfished? No. You? Not yet. <laughs> not, not yet. <laughs> you guys? Uh, not really. Not like no? on that level where I'm oh. like, holy shit, it's a dude or something right. like that. I don't know. No, dude. but even no, just a normal catfish. You get catfish on Bubble yet? No. Like you get, like you show up to some place to for a date and she's not whatever the picture looked like. She's totally different. Sometimes they're a little bigger. Oh. And you're like, eh. <laughs> It's, it's just a bad. face shot. <laughs> the beauty of Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, got some, the, she got those angles. Some girls can find the angles, you know? But yeah. hey, maybe they're thinking the same thing about you, Kelly. Hey, probably. I don't know. But you I don't know? do the filters. I'm not like, eh, they have like a sparkly like face thing with like a dog ears, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> I don't know. You showed me your Bumble profile one day. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't, wasn't too pretty. What? I thought it was tight. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's beautiful. Be quiet. Yeah, it's got dude. like modeling shots and shit. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, like, what's in front of a car he doesn't even own or a jet. Oh, yeah, he was in front of like a Jaguar yeah. or something. <laughs> it was for Street League. It was tight. Yeah. It was a roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get out of here, Bam. Thank you so much again for stopping. Yeah. But dude, come back again. Yeah, I love it. Please. And yeah. tell Andy Roy um, when he's when he's down here next to fucking sure. stop by. Yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll have a blast with him. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at that, Bam. Margera, everybody, huh?